Ukrainian families are settling into Minnesota thanks in part to the efforts of one Plymouth church. CCX News reporter Sarah Tamer shows us one family's journey to Minnesota from more than 5,000 miles away. Lubo van Igor Nelha's trek to the U.S. was long and emotional. For the safety of the children. Serge Zostovsky, a youth minister with Golgotha Slavic Church in Plymouth, helps translate our interview. This was very hard to do. The couple fled Ukraine in February with their seven children before arriving to Elk River on April 19th. How do you like Minnesota? Yeah, like Minnesota. Oh, super. <laughs> Ranging in ages from three to ten, the children quietly take a seat, curious, as our interview begins. <laughs> at just 32 and 33 years old, the young couple look back at their long journey from their hometown of Birizanka. It was hard because that was the house, you know, that I lived in from birth. Their journey started in Poland, where they found shelter for a month. They then traveled to Mexico and spent time at a refugee camp before finally arriving in Minnesota. <laughs> A lot of worrying, just I've never been in airports and, you know, in all of this, you know, I've grown up in a village on my left. The children saw that we were concerned and so they themselves were concerned and, you know, they helped out any way they could to, you know, to look out for one another. And so far, the church has helped 10 families who have fled Ukraine and sought refuge in the state donating items like furniture and basic necessities. We will help people get here, you know, and we'll help send financial help. Um, and as a church, that really helps maximize our effectiveness. War brought them here. Faith keeps them going. Right now we're just, we're here and we're counting on God and he's helping us out and God will provide. Our interview ended in song, lyrics honoring a war-torn Ukraine. Hope, someday fighting, is replaced with freedom. In Elk River, Sarah Tamer, CCX News. A Twin Cities nonprofit is on a mission to help make the dream of attending college possible for students from low income backgrounds. As Delane Cleveland reports, it's looking for young people to help serve as mentors. Have you been working on your ACT stuff? Applying for college can be overwhelming. Yes. It's something Jojo Misso knows all too well. As I'm approaching my senior year, I feel like now it's time to actually talk about things that I was like afraid oh, of talking yeah. about. Yes. Yet she has a huge advantage going into her senior year. So these schools are the best for that. She has Haley Fingelson to help guide her through every step of the college application process. Me and her really have a really strong bond. I really appreciate her because she makes high school life way more easier for me. There are programs that are available. Haley is a coach from the nonprofit College Possible. She's a recent college grad herself, and it's her job to help students at Armstrong, like JoJo, fulfill their dreams of a college education. We help them access knowledge to the different paths that they can take, um, the different financial resources, and are really just kind of like an extra helping hand to them uh, to access something that's very new to them um, and is a very big step forward once you graduate. So it's just going to be a matter of execution. Jojo emigrated from the African nation of Togo. She's involved with several activities at Armstrong and even started her own dance group. Jojo's goal is to attend college in London. If you can keep that like in-state connection but still being able to explore London like you want to, that can be an option as well. Haley is working to help her make that happen. College is very, very expensive, and we want to show them that you can still go to college. We want to make sure everyone has access to college, regardless of their background. It's a message JoJo hears loud and clear, and College Possible is looking for more people like Haley to help share their wisdom. It's very, very helpful. It's like having a second mom within the school. In Plymouth, Delane Cleveland, CCX News. Benefits to being a college possible coach include money that can be used to repay student loans or go toward grad school. For more information on how you can be a coach, find a link on our website, ccxmedia.org. A young Brooklyn Center nonprofit is working to get young people and their families active and involved in sports. We feel and we've seen that a lot of our youth are stuck inside and are really active. And there's a lot of things that they're going through. So based upon that, 
drove the momentum of what we're doing now with the 5K. We caught up with Gabriel Croma, who founded a nonprofit called Sports and Leadership Academy, to talk about a 5K they are planning for August 13th here at Centennial Park in Brooklyn Center. The purpose of the event is to raise awareness for mental health, a need he's seen working with youth. Not a lot of our community actually talk about it, right? So bringing them youth together and just hearing it and seeing what some of our youth are actually going through and what can be done to combat that with their parents. The Mental Health Awareness 5K will be on Saturday, August 13th at 1130 a.m. in the park near the Brooklyn Center Community Center. For more information, check out the sportsandleadership.org website. If you've been to the store, you know school supplies are already out on store shelves. Nonprofits have kicked off their backpack and school supply drives too, including the nonprofit organization Honored to Help and organizer Scooter Drawn. Last year, with the help of community partners, he collected more than 2,000 backpacks and school supplies and then gave them away to students living in the Zane Avenue corridor. We want to increase. We want to try to get to 3,000 if we can. The more, the better. The more we get, the more we can serve the community. If you want to help, you can drop off a new backpack and supplies at any of these three Brooklyn Park locations. The Community Activity Center, Zanewood Recreation Center, or the Salvation Army on Noble Parkway. You can learn more on Honored to Help's website. CCX Sports has inducted over 75 athletes and coaches into our Hall of Fame since 2004. Today, a look back at one of the 2021 inductees, Plymouth native and Benilde St. Margaret's High School graduate, Grant Bessie. Here's Jay Wilcox. He was one of the most electrifying hockey players ever in the Northwest suburbs. We welcome 2013 Benilde St. Margaret's graduate and Plymouth native Grant Bessie to the CCX Sports Hall of Fame. Anytime you don't, you get recognized for you know some of your achievements. You know whether it was you know five years ago, ten years ago, fifteen years ago. Um, you know it's it's cool that you know people still care and uh, yeah, I'm pretty honored to you know be a part of it. The question isn't whether or not Grant Bessie is one of the best players that BSM has ever seen. The question is, is he one of the best players who ever played high school hockey? And, um, and believe me, we've had a lot of great ones come through here, but he, but he belongs in the conversation. Oh, Here's Bessie going to the net. Grant Bessie fires oh, yeah. and he scores! Oh. Bessie put up dazzling numbers and racked up awards left and right for the Red Knights. As a senior, he was named Minnesota's Mr. Hockey, AP State Player of the Year, and Star Tribune Metro Player of the Year. He scored 30 goals as a freshman, 33 as a sophomore, 52 in his junior season and 48 more as a senior. Bessie's 272 points ranked first in BSM history. He led the Red Knights to a state championship in 2012 as a junior, a season that had some highs and a very big low. It truly stands out in his career. That was, you know, what kind of, you know, put, you know, Benil, you know, up into that next echelon of, you know, high school hockey teams, you know, it was unfortunate that you know, that came along with, you know, Jack's injury. While he had many spectacular nights on the ice, hockey fans statewide remember Grant's dazzling five-goal performance in the state title game in 2012 above all else. It's kind of still a blur. Like, I, I, I know what happened. I, I've seen the videos of, you know, what happened. But, you know, in terms of, like, real true memories of, like, what was going on, it was just kind of like a, you know, a blacked out moment where you're just in the zone and you know you couldn't you know you couldn't miss that night. He's already got three. Scores. Some people forget that you hear about five goals, but it was a it was a shorthanded hat trick. Three of those goals were shorthanded. Um, so it, it really five goals is enough of an accomplishment, but you think the three of them are shorthanded. Um, pretty tough to see that being du duplicated anytime soon. Bessie went on to have a solid four-year career at the University of Wisconsin playing for Badgers teams that had some ups and downs during his time in Madison. Grant led the team in points in his sophomore and junior seasons and was an alternate captain later in his career. It was unfortunate that, you know, two of the four years I was there, we weren't, you know, weren't as good as Wisconsin should probably be. Um, but, you know, my freshman year, we were number one seed in the NCAA tournament, won the big inaugural Big Ten championship tournament. 
a fifth round pick of Anaheim in 2013. Bessie played a couple of minor league seasons in the U.S. before heading to Europe to continue his career. He's had stops in Germany, Sweden, and Austria so far. Maybe not exactly the way he'd planned it, but CCX Hall of Famer Grant Bessie has no regrets. It's been a blast. Like, I've had a ton of fun doing it. You know, I've got to you know, play the game that I love for a living, and um, you know, I wish I would have made it to the NHL. I mean, that's probably uh, past its time at this point to, to strive for, but um, you know, I can still have fun and you know, make a decent living you know, doing it. So, uh, yeah, I got nothing to complain about. Congratulations again to Grant for being part of our 2021 class. Watch for the 2022 class on the CCX Sports Hall of Fame special coming up Labor Day weekend. And that's all for sports. I'm John Jacobson. Find more prep sports games and highlights at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.